Black holes, warp drives, and spaceships pushed by lasers. Sounds like the plot of Star Trek? Perhaps this might become our reality very soon. In just a few years, we've gone from snapping the first ever black hole pick to scientists sketching out actual plans for faster than light travel. So, low key, get ready to see a black hole from the inside, guys. So, it's April 10th, 2019. Mark that date. And a black hole literally breaks the internet. Yep, for the first time ever, we get an actual picture of a black hole. And it's not just any black hole. No, it's the monster hanging out at the center of galaxy Messier 87. The Event Horizon Telescope made it happen. Three years later, EHT did it again. This time, it snapped a pic of our own Milky Way's black hole, Sagittarius A star, or Sag A star if you're feeling lazy. Seeing black holes is cool. Visiting them? Probably not so much. Yet. Enter astrophysicist Cosimo Bambi from Fudan University in China. The guy's got dreams. He imagines humans visiting a black hole within the next hundred years. But there's a catch. We need a spacecraft so light it could be zapped across space by a laser beam. Sag A star is a mind-blowing 26,000 light years away. But even the closest known black hole, Gaia BH1, sits a whopping 1,560 light years out. But Bambi isn't giving up. He thinks there could be a sneaky little black hole chilling only 20 to 25 light years from us. And he might not be totally off. Okay, 20 light years is maybe a stretch. But in 2023, some brainiacs from the University of Padua and the University of Barcelona found hints that there could be black holes just 150 light years away. These sneaky ones might be hiding in the Hyades cluster. That's a cozy neighborhood of stars that are roughly the same age and stuck together by gravity. When scientists ran simulations to match the cluster's mass and size, the only way it worked was by tossing in some black holes. So yeah, black holes might be closer than we thought. And maybe, someday, humans could pay one a visit, even though whether those black holes actually exist is still uncertain. They're insanely hard to spot because, as their name suggests, duh, black holes don't emit light. Even worse, stellar mass black holes don't have the massive glowing disks that made imaging M87, or Sag A star, possible. So telescopes can't just see them the way we saw those giants. If Bambi is right, and the closest ones are a bit farther than 20 to 25 light years away, there's still the enormous challenge of actually getting there. We would need a spacecraft that is both extremely light and insanely fast. The proposed solution is micro spacecraft with light sails, tiny probes no heavier than a paperclip, carrying microchips and propelled across space by a powerful laser beam from Earth. This idea is similar to the Breakthrough Starshot project. This project aims to send a swarm of nanocrafts to Alpha Centauri. We could probably apply the same concept, but target black holes. Traveling at roughly a third of the speed of light, these probes could reach a black hole 20 to 25 light years away in about 70 years. And then the data would take another 20 years to get back to Earth. If no black holes are that close, the next possible destination would be the Hyades Cluster, which would take at least 420 years to reach. As you see, none of this can happen until the technology has developed enough. And still, Bombi believes that laser-powered nanocrafts could realistically become feasible within the next 30 years, thanks to lower costs and advancing technology. Let's admit it. The concept might sound like science fiction, but history shows that seemingly impossible ideas, like detecting gravitational waves or imaging black hole shadows, have become reality over time. Next thing you know, we're already exploring black holes with micro spacecraft. Or we would probably be using a much more powerful invention to cover that insane distance and reach the closest black hole. In a new paper, scientists claim they might have finally figured out a real physical model 
for a warp drive. The term warp drive comes straight out of science fiction, most famously Star Trek. In the Star Trek universe, the warp drive works by smashing matter and antimatter together, converting the resulting explosion into propulsion, and somehow using that energy to zoom past the speed of light. Basically, a cosmic firecracker powers the ship faster than anything we can imagine. Scientists have been obsessed with faster-than-light travel for decades. The main reason is simple. Without something like the warp drive, even reaching our nearest neighboring star would take forever. Even at the speed of light, that trip is still four years long. Our modern idea of warp speed comes from 1994, when theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed what's now called the Alcubierre drive. This concept fits within Einstein's theory of general relativity. Instead of just trying to go faster than light through space, it manipulates space itself. Alcubierre described it like this. Space-time expands behind the spaceship and contracts in front, creating a sort of wave that carries the ship along faster than light, at least from the perspective of someone outside the warped region. The Alcubierre drive, in theory, would need an insane amount of energy, probably more than exists in the entire universe. This energy would allow us to twist and squeeze space-time in front of the spacecraft and create a bubble for travel. Inside that bubble, the ship and its crew wouldn't feel any acceleration at all. Physics would still work normally inside the bubble, but the ship itself would basically be outside of normal space. A great way to picture it is the classic tablecloth and dishes party trick. Imagine the spaceship sitting on a tablecloth that represents space-time. The drive pulls and shifts the tablecloth, and suddenly the ship is somewhere completely new without ever moving through the intervening space. But many scientists think we couldn't realistically build the Alcubierre drive. It needs way too much mass and theoretical negative energy. It would make it impossible to construct a real warp system. NASA has been poking at the idea for years, trying to see if a physical warp drive is feasible. But so far, no major breakthroughs have come from it. This brings us to a brand new study from the Advanced Propulsion Laboratory at Applied Physics. The team there claims to have built the world's first physical model for a warp drive. And it doesn't need that theoretical negative energy. The main idea is surprisingly simple. Traditional warp drive models, like Alcubierre's, rely on negative energy, exotic matter that doesn't exist and can't be made with what we know about the universe. The new APL model flips the concept. Instead of floating ships inside space-time, it imagines floating bubbles of space-time themselves. This approach barely uses any negative energy and takes advantage of the fact that space-time bubbles can behave almost any way we want. According to the APL scientists, this isn't even the only way warp speed could work. But making a model that's physically understandable is a huge leap forward. Alcubierre himself has given his approval, which is basically like having Einstein drop by your physics class to nod at you. Of course, there's a massive catch. This concept is still firmly in the far future zone. Scientists don't yet know how to actually build anything like it. The APL team admits that the mass requirement for shaping space-time bubbles are still enormous. But they underline that their method is grounded entirely in known physics, which is kind of big. So while a physical warp drive isn't around the corner or maybe even a century away, this breakthrough makes faster-than-light travel far more plausible in a shorter time span than we ever imagined. Warp speed may not just be science fiction anymore. It's starting to look like science, eventually. And who knows, maybe we'll see the insides of a black hole soon. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.